Thank you. Yes. All right. What's the problem? What we need to, what we're trying to do. For this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to try to solve for x, all right? And when solving for x, guys, remember, we want to get the x variable by itself. We want to get our final solution to be x equals, okay? <laughs> That's what we're trying to get. So what we need to do is we need to undo what is happening to them. So you might want to, you want to pay attention so you can understand this, all right? So first thing you're going to want to do, I wasn't really worried about that or not, just want to go to this one. So what I would do is, um, the first thing we need to do is we need to look at what is being added or subtracted to our variable. And here I have a negative 7. All right? And so what's happening is this 7 is being subtracted from my variable. So to undo that, I'm going to want to add a 7. The reason why I'm going to want to add a 7 is what happens is this cancels out to become 0. It also cancels out to become 0 over on this side. So I get 9x equals 0. However, I'm still going to follow my process that I, um, that I need to do. Then I need to undo what's happening to my variable now is multiplying. So instead of multiplying, I need to divide. And what that happens is multiplication and division are going to cancel each other out, and I'll just be left with x equals 0, which is exactly the way I wanted my problem to end. So that's how you solve a simple two-step equation. One clap. Really?